So for those of you that have watched some of the previous unboxing videos, unfortunately not enough of you watched the last one with the reveal of the other OTR Essential shirts available at Pro Wrestling Tees that you should be buying, such as the Assume Jeff Jarrett Position shirt. And as I called out on the Destination X review, damn it, if you buy 15 of these by the end of September, you give me no choice. I will have to buy the four-disc Jeff Jarrett DVD set, watch it, all four discs, and review all four discs right here on this channel. So anyways, thanks for those of you that have checked out the unboxing videos as I continue my quest to significantly, markedly improve the man room memorabilia situation. The demon may warp my mind, she may fuck with my heart and my soul, but the one thing she can't touch is the man room! It's my space! Mine! So, I continue on my quest to find some great wrestling and sports memorabilia on this channel. I'm touching on the wrestling component of it, and I just got a delivery in from Art City Supply on eBay, and it's a tube, so you know what that means. It's poster time, and you can probably tell who's going to be in the posters based off of the title. But this should be a pretty good one, so let me go ahead and open it up. And god damn, mm, dick, dick holes pack it in pretty good. But Art City Supply has quite a number of uh, really awesome old school posters on their site. I'm, I'm going to continue to buy from them, and I have in the past. So you guys, if you're looking for old wrestling uh, memorabilia, sports posters, what have you, you should check them out. So as you can see here, I got some posters wrapped up, and it is a total of three of them. So I'm going to unwrap one at a time, and let's see what we've got here. All right, the first one is going to be, and these are all 24 by 36 posters, and eventually you'll see them hanging somewhere in the backdrop and however i end up setting up the man room probably to have multiple recording locations what is this one ah yes indeed going back to the year 2000 you may know them as broken and deleted and all that stuff but we've got us a vintage a vintage hardy boys poster circa 2000 look at matt and jeff and all their young coked out somed up glory isn't that magnificent that will be hanging up on the back wall eventually. But I think I spent 10 bucks on this. Again, 17 year old poster, 10 bucks. I consider that a pretty good deal if you ask me. And in fact, for all three of the posters I got, uh, one of the other ones was only 10 bucks and the most expensive one was 12. And again, these are all old vintage posters, so you know, hats off to Art City Supply for what they've got going on here. Now let's take a look and see what the next poster I've got is. If you smell what the rock is cooking. Look at that. Jabroni Drive, Know Your Roll Boulevard. This fucking poster kicks ass. Outside of maybe Hollywood Heel Rock. This is the great rock. This is the best version of the rock, one could argue. Look at that poster. Isn't that magnificent? Damn. If you smell what the rock is cooking, they just don't make wrestling personalities like this anymore. So this, for 10 bucks, was a pretty good buy. And this, of course, will be going on the back wall, prominently featured sometime in the near future. Oh, God damn it, we're professionals here. Just... Balls blowing in the breeze. Oh. You know, posters are tougher to wrap up than they look like. Son of a businessman. Anyways. Now, the interesting thing will be how do I set up the room eventually with all the posters and uh, action figures and all the other crap, uh, the memorabilia I'm going to get. I'm not sure yet, honestly. Um, as you saw, the uh, WWF poster book unboxing, I've got those eight posters plus the cover with Hogan on it, so it's going to be a total of nine. goes with the LOD stuff, the Road Warrior stuff that you don't even see on camera right now. Um, but this one here was the one that I liked the most. This one here was the one 
that I wanted the most. Look at this bad boy right here. Fucking 1991 ish Surfer Sting. Oh man. For 12 bucks. God damn it. For 12 bucks, you get the point. This fucking poster kicks ass. Probably eventually have a whole set of Sting stuff, just like a little mini section of Sting. And here is the beginning of that. Look at that magnificence. Look at him back in the days where he did a little bit of cocaine and painkillers and everything else, and it was awesome. So there you have it. This was a pretty cool unboxing for me to get three posters like this at a pretty good price. Um, again, Art City Supply. Um, usually I've gotten good stuff from them, never been disappointed. They're not paying me to say it, but you guys probably should, especially because I'll be buying more crap from you. But again, you've got Sting, you've got The Rock, you've got the Hardy Boys. I feel like this was a pretty productive uh, purchase for about 32 bucks and free shipping too. Hell yes. So next time, what am I going to be unboxing? It's going to have a bit of a breakfast club theme to it. That's all I'll say. So make sure you check out some of the other interesting stuff on this channel. Make sure you go hashtag buy a shirt. 15 of these sold by the end of September. And I got to review that four disc Jeff Jarrett DVD set. Oh my God. Step up to the plate, guys. Do it. Do it. You know you want to. Uh, but thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you got any suggestions of anything I should buy in terms of memorabilia for the man room, let me know in the comments section down below. Um, if you're enjoying it, let me know. And if you're not, you can either keep it to yourself or I'm sure you're going to let me know too. And that's fine.